dear Brian, it's Wednesday and you still have not called. What, did you go to Hilton Head and forget all about me? Granted, I didn't think you would call me every day, but I thought at least you would have called by now. I know it's expensive, but I would have given you my calling card or something. I hope you are having fun. How was the drive? Long, I bet. How long did it take you to get everything unpacked? Two days, I bet. I bet you've been playing golf ever since. Without me, of course. So how's your swing? Life around here has been boring as usual. Although I did get the ironing that my mom has been bugging me about finished. It was great fun, believe me. I was actually thinking about going to the driving range by myself. One of Frankie's friends offered to let me borrow his clubs. I was ready to go, and then it started raining, just my luck. Oh well, it would have not have been as much fun without you anyway. The Sunday you left, I finally took my parents to the Bellevue for brunch. We all ate so much. We were there for more than two hours. I have never felt so fat in my life. Sunday night I talked to Mina all night. I swear that girl is going to have a nervous breakdown one of these days. She was practically hysterical just because she has to leave for school in a week. Then she starts complaining that Dave Keeney, Justin Egoville, and Brian Kenton aren't the friends she thought they were. I said I could have told you that from the beginning. I talked to her through everything, and I think she will survive. Monday night I watched the San Fran game. Tuesday night I watched the Phillies and Iron Boy am I tearing up the social scene or what? That is if there ever was a social scene. Well, if that just came through, I wonder if it's from you. Nope. Oh well, maybe next time. It's funny. Every time the phone rings, I hope it's you, but it hasn't been you yet. Guess I better stop hoping. Well, I better go look like I'm doing productive things. I can hear you now. Nice excuse to get off the phone with me. Well, shut up, because I'm not on the phone with you. I'm so desperate I'm talking to a typewriter. Gotta run. Love, Alyssa. Brian, it's Friday morning, 8.45, already I'm bored. I had a chat with your dad yesterday. I called him around 11 a.m. to see what time you were coming in on Friday. Well, he informed me that you're not coming in until Monday. That news really made my day. I had the whole weekend planned out for us. Looks like I'll be carrying out those plans by myself. Last night, I tried watching Mississippi Burning again. I still only got through half the movie. I don't know why I can't get through that silly show. I went to the mall, too. I saw this really nice shirt that I thought you would like. It was a Tommy Hilfiger college shirt like the one you bought at the polo store, except it was royal navy blue and a hunter green vertical wide striped shirt. It was really stylish and was on sale, so I thought I would buy it for you. I hope you're having fun and I really hope you haven't forgotten about me. Your dad kept telling me that you were meeting all the girls at Hilton Head and making plans to steal their hearts. By the way, what did you tell your dad? He seems to know that you bought me flowers, but I can't imagine that you told him that. He also knows that I went with you to your brother's for dinner. That man knows more than I thought he would for only being home two days. My hands are starting to hurt, so I'm going to end this letter here. It's too long already anyway, and I miss you. Love always. Alyssa.